Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. It's a gorgeous day, but it is a little bit windy, so I am wearing my microphone today. So hopefully you all can hear me okay. I apologize if there's any audio issues. I am back in the east side of my garden, kind of my cottage slash oak tree garden bed. And today I'm gonna try and do some transplanting. So I have these massive plumbago plants that I need to get out of my cottage garden because they are just taking over. I've already cut them back once like hard this season so I don't even think that they're going to bloom this season um, but I want to get them out because I want my cottage garden to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer um, and I want to put them in my new oak tree garden bed. Let me show you guys. So just the other day, Jason and I came out here and we worked hard on cleaning this whole oak tree garden bed up and it looks so, so much better. And now I'm going to start planting, but I want to take my time with it, um, really think about what I want to do and try and not spend a ton of money, um, especially because this is not a, like a super focal area in my yard. This is also, well, just past the, the tree right there, the oak tree is my neighbor's yard and I'm going to be doing both of our yards. Um, I'm going to kind of marry the, the stuff together. Um, so I don't want to spend a ton of money on it, but I do want it to look beautiful. So uh, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take those plumbago out of my uh, cottage garden bed where I'm just not really happy with them. I don't love them. Um, they're not reaching their full potential. <laughs> and I want to put them from right here where this evergreen is. And I want to put them this way along this fence. So it's kind of just a blank wall. And you know what I do with blank walls? I espalier them. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, so I figure that I'm going to try. I don't think it's going to be as neat as like my ivy espalier or my honeysuckle espalier, but at least I can try and make it a look a little bit um, purposeful. Like there's a reason why I put plants there. You can kind of see the light. This is kind of the light that we get all day. Um, you know, a little bit of sun, but not a lot. I would not call it deep shade. Absolutely not. So um, I don't even know if deep shade plants would thrive here because there is dappled sun kind of all day long. And we live in zone 9b, so it's hot sun basically. So this is a really, really pleasant garden bed with the shade of the oak tree. And I think that the plumbago are going to be happy. They might not bloom as much as they would if they were in full sun, but I don't even care. I'm just going to use them for their greenery and um, trying to spoliate them up in big diamonds and see how it goes. So the plumbago are over here in my cottage garden bed, which is looking all right. It's looking a little bit messy right now. I'm not totally happy, especially with this area over here. It's kind of just all green. I have my peonies that are growing and they're doing really well. Um, however, it, it's just kind of all green and messy right now. Over here, it's looking good. I have my delphiniums and then you start going just to all these other plants that are, that are really starting to look pretty. So this is a work in progress. This is the first year I have my cottage garden bed um, so I need to kind of play around with it a little bit but you can see right here I have a plumbago right here I have a plumbago right here in this mess of gladiolas I have a plumbago and then I have two more down that way and my plan is is just to just to transplant those get them in another area where I don't have to keep keep cutting them back um, you know and trying to size control something that does not want to be size controlled so I think I'm going to have my work cut out for me with digging out these plumbago. They have been, I do have landscape fabric. There was landscape fabric in this garden bed. I didn't plant the plumbago. Um, the people who owned the house before we did plant, planted them and they put down the landscape fabric. So I hope, I hope that that will limit how many runners and everything that the plumbago has, but who knows? Um, I've never transplanted one of these before. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to start off with digging five holes over in my cottage garden bed, and then one by one, I will try and get each one of them out. I do have one plumbago going up my um, to tour right here that I'm actually going to leave. I have not cut that one back. This one, funny enough, grows the slowest out of all of them. Um, it's, the, it's been the smallest since day one um, so, and it gets the most sun. So I don't know, I don't understand. Maybe it doesn't get enough water or something like that, but I am gonna leave that one and then the other five I will transplant. All right, so I'm probably gonna be a sweaty mess after I'm done with this, but that's okay, let's get it done. 
So the first thing I did with this project is I measured the fence uh, from the end closest to my neighbor's house all the way over to where those concrete blocks hit it. It ended up being 25 feet, about 25 feet, and I had five, I have five plumbago to transplant. So I just measured five uh, foot increments so I would know where to dig my holes. Um, and then what I did is I scraped back a lot of the mulch. Jason and I, when we were cleaning up this area, the other day we took a lot of the junky mulch that was on top um, off you know mixed with the leaves but there was still a couple inches of mulch so I uh, scraped that all away and then I started digging and look at how rocky the soil is it's ridiculous but I don't think that this is naturally rocky I think that this is rocky because the landscapers put like a level a layer uh, level down and they used rock or gravel rock to do that and I think that that's what I was dealing with right here so getting through that was tough what I start off with is I start off with a digging fork to loosen the whole area and loosen the rocks and then I came back in with my shovel to dig away the loose dirt that I had loosened up with that digging fork and that made it easier but it still was not easy I was sweating after this and taking lots and lots and lots of breaks All right, I've got all five holes dug. This area is so rocky, it's annoying. This is where one of those augers would come in very handy. Hint, hint, power planter, hint, hint. <laughs> so I've got all of them dug. I think deep enough, I'll see when I get the plumbago roots out and see exactly how big they are. Um, but yeah, like, look at this one. My shovel goes all the way down. So I think that should be enough. I'm going to transplant them with um, some Sure Start starter fertilizer to help with their root growth and everything like that. Um, and then my plan is, is that I'll come in on this like long, what do you call it, footer board. And that's where I'm gonna screw in my first eye hook for my um, espalier and then just go up. So each plumbago will just have to go up in a V. So it should be pretty easy um, training of the, plumb of the plumbago. So um, I, think, I think it should be pretty easy. I think it should look pretty good. So we'll see, I'm gonna go in and get some water and then I will start getting, getting started with the transplanting. I'm tired. All right, so now I am getting started with digging out each of these plumbago and putting them in the holes that I just dug. And this was a beast of a project. I'm telling you, there is some magic of editing going on in this video. I cannot even tell you guys how much I cut out and sped up with this whole process. It was like inch by inch, I was digging down, digging around each root. And at first I was trying to be super careful and trying to take care of the plant. And then after a while, I just thought, man, I am not getting this thing out if I don't break some roots. So at this point, I started kind of just digging my shovel in, and I also had my pruners there off to the right, and I was kind of just cutting the roots, just, just in an attempt to get it out. So this first one, I think I did a pretty good job at getting um, enough of the roots out that I think it'll be okay. Uh, and then I took it over to the hole, added that Sure Start starter fertilizer in, and then put it in as well as I could. Um, after this first one, though, it kind of went downhill. It was getting hard and harder and the roots were getting bigger and bigger and oh, oh man I hope I didn't kill these guys okay do you guys see those roots right down there they are like the deepest tap roots I've ever come across. I think you call them tap roots where they go straight down. Holy moly, I cannot get them. It doesn't matter how deep I dig, I cannot get down far enough to where they are and I cannot pull them out. So I'm just like, ugh, I'm just breaking them. I'm just breaking them off like that. So hopefully these plumbago are gonna be okay. I hope they don't just all die on me when I do this, but I don't know any other way to get them out. <laughs> I 
might just have to start fresh if these guys all die from from my harsh treatment. All right, everyone, I'm gonna call it a day. I am exhausted. I'm having trouble even holding my camera up because my arms are tired. I think I'm done for the day. So first, uh, as you saw in the video, I was dealing with really rocky soil. So it was kind of hard to dig. The first three holes were hard. This, the last two holes were pretty fine. So I didn't have any trouble with that. Finally, I got through that and dug all the holes. And then I started trying to get all the plumbago out. Oh my goodness. I did not realize their roots were so big. I mean, I kind of had a feeling because everyone talks about how they just kind of are super invasive and they take over and they send out runners. Holy moly, these guys were insane. So let me turn around so you can see. So over in this garden bed, I do have this beautiful birch tree right here. And I started taking the two plumbago uh, around the birch tree and I thought that I was dealing with the birch tree roots. So I was being really careful and I was trying to go around them. And then I realized, these roots are coming from <laughs> the shrubs. They're not coming from the birch tree. And they were, they were big. They were way too big. So I didn't know what to do. They just went so far into the ground. I just knew I had to cut them. So I, I got out my big pruners just to cut those. And then as I was doing that, I was so worried that I am, that I killed these, you know, I'm, I feel like I killed these plumbago. Let me show you what they look like right now. They don't look very pretty. Okay, so I got three in. This one, I think I got the most roots. This one, I think, no, this one, I think I did the most damage. I don't know, look at how unhappy that poor plant is. So I gave it two gallons of water. I used some Sure Start starter fertilizer on it. I hope it's gonna survive, but I am not optimistic at all. You can see I have two more, but I am just, I am exhausted and honestly, I'm out of time. I have way too much other stuff to do. So I will have to do this. I can't even do it tomorrow. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a Saturday video this week. Usually I release videos Monday through Friday, but just because I didn't get this done and I don't have time to do it tomorrow and I'm, I think I'm just going to release a Saturday video. So this video will have two parts. It will be a to be continued. I apologize about that. Um, I wish I could get it all in one video, but I don't think I can. And I still want to hook up the espalier and everything like that. So I have a couple more hours of this project. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it thus far. You know, I'm really glad that I got th these three in. As I was pulling them out of the cottage garden I thought this is the right choice this is exactly what I needed to do it's just a big job <laughs> so stay tuned for my video tomorrow on Saturday um, if you're watching this the first day it comes out if you're not um, I will link the video at the either up here or at the end of this video so you guys will have you guys will know when that next video is when part two of transplanting these plumbagos this tough job so I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.